In this video tutorial, we are going to look at the various types of nodes and links supported by MindFusion's Diagram Library for React and JavaScript. We will look at these standard nodes, which you can create, and those of them that can be used as head shapes for links. We will also demonstrate the various types of links that you can have. Cascading, Bezier, Spline, and Polyline. This is the work area of our application from the previous tutorial. We have here a few shape nodes. We will replace them with a list of all shape nodes available in the library. We delete the list with the shape nodes we are using now, and set a for each cycle where we go through all shapes available in the shape class. We create a new node for each shape. We also add the ID of the shape to the list with shape IDs. Let's refresh the project page. Here is the list with all shapes. Some of the shapes are suitable for arrowheads. Let's move them out to a new list to the right of the diagram area. Here is the list with the IDs of all shapes suitable for arrowheads. Let's add a new cycle and create a node with each one of them. We add the new nodes in a separate array called Arrowhead Nodes. We assign the link nodes and link IDs to two new properties in the component state. Now let's add a second node list view that will render those nodes. We copy the code for the node list view diagram component we have and change the source for the nodes and captions attributes. Let's increase the height of the element so we can see most of the shapes. Here is the list with link shapes. 
As you notice, the shapes we use for arrowheads are present as node shapes in the left list. Let's remove them. We add a check to see if the node shape is part of the link shapes list, and if it is, we skip it. So, now we have the links to the right and shape nodes the left. Let's check for the triangle shape for instance. It is not found in the left list. Let's make now the links use the head shape that the user has selected. We are going to handle the node selected event for the node list view. Let's check it in the online documentation. It accepts two parameters, sender and event arguments. We declare a new method called onSelectLinkChanged and get the selected node from the event data. Then we assign it to the diagram, which we keep in the state object. The method for that is called setLinkHeadShape. Let's look at the event data. It is provided through the NodeEventArgs class. Here is the getNode method. What we are left to do now is wire the method to the event for the node list view with the arrowhead shapes. So, we edit the JSX code to include the event handling code, which is standard syntax in React. Let's test our application. Here is the standard link head. We select a fancy arrow head and here it is. Another shape. Yes, it renders as well. Everything seems to work fine. We have demonstrated the different shapes for link head shapes. Let's demonstrate now the different shapes of the link itself. Let's check the members of the link shape enumeration. You can see here that the links can be bezier, cascading, polyline, and spline. We will copy the select HTML element we've added so far and edit it to render the available options for link shape. Let's name the event handler on link type change. We edit the options. The 
The values for each option can be checked in the documentation. Cascading is 2, Bezier 0, Spline and Polyline are 3 and 1 respectively. The selected option is Cascading 2. Now let's implement the method. We assign to the link shape of the diagram, which is stored in state, directly the selected value. In order to make links look better, we set link routing to true for cascading links, and we turn it off for the other link types. Link routing means the link will walk around nodes rather than going over them. Before we test our application, let's set the default link shape for the diagram to cascading. Let's see what we've done. These are cascading links. Let's change the link shape to Bezier. Let's choose another head shape. As you see, the shapes for arrowheads can be used as regular diagram nodes as well. So this is a Bezier link shape. It has plenty of control points as you see. Next link type, spline. Here it is. It has just one control point in the middle. Let's check the polyline type. It has also one control point and the segments are straight lines. And this is all for today. You've seen how to render standard node shapes and link head shapes as well as how to change the shape of the link body. Next time we will look at the complex nodes, which you can create with the diagram library using JavaScript and React. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your interest in MindFusion developer tools.